Alright guys, we're back on Ordo Airsoft, and today we're going to be talking about eye protection. table we have some eye protection that we've used in the past and some that we use currently so we have some full face protection we have some two-piece face protection we have some goggles and then obviously every one of these is compatible with our airsoft helmet so when we first started playing airsoft we would wear these full face masks as you can see there's some ventilation in there. This one's very heavily used. Has spots for the air to get out. Although this thing still fogs like crazy. You can see the lens gets scratched up. The lens is not made of a very good material. The elastic is kind of messy. You need to adjust it every time. Not really a good solution, but it's a good beginner mask if you're worried about getting hit in the face. So from there, we transitioned from the full face mask to the separated face mask. So we wouldn't use this bottom piece. We would use an actual full face protection. And for the goggles, we would use basically just the goggle piece that has vents on the side. You can see the vents in there. And the Plastic is made out of a hard Lexan type material. It's a lot more durable. There's foam on the bottom, as you can see here. And that is breathable as well. If you look close, there's a bunch of vents in there. And same thing with the other side. And then it also has that same foam on the top. So then you have this rubberized type material that goes against your face, creates a full seal. Also comes with a carrying bag so they don't get scratched up on the way to the game. Very useful. And like I said before, we typically would wear this with a full lower face protection. But since then, we've actually modified our lower face protection. We've cut it out. So the way that this would work is you'd wear a balaclava or some sort of face covering. And you would put this under it so the face covering would basically hold this to your face and it would keep it from moving around and this basically protects just the mouth and the nose instead of having that whole huge thing on your face which would always get caught on stuff the chin was way far down so it was very inconvenient you'd be trying to shoulder your rifle and this would keep hitting against your stock should be very annoying. So what we actually did is we took a heat gun, took all of this little wrapping off the outside, then we took scissors, cut all of this down all along the outside. We measured it to our face. We bent it to the correct angle so that way there's not a whole lot of excess coming off. Um, obviously we had to paint it since it's Ordo Airsoft we have to paint everything um, and then we hot glued this uh, protective layer back on so that way you don't get cut just a note you do have to cut it to size otherwise you're gonna, there's going to be a lot of excess but once you do it that way it's very convenient all you have to do is put your uh, schmegma on or your lower face hood all you have to do is put your balaclava on or your lower face hood and then just slip this in between that and your face and then you're protected very durable and it looks cool looks a lot cooler than having the other face protection and this goes actually under it so it's not visible or at least partially under it you should at least have the uh, balaclava running like that if not fully over it sometimes if you run it fully over it you can get the fog so user preference 
So that was the second goggle setup that we used. Thirdly, we went to these revision boogie style goggles. So you can see the revision logo there. These are not the reproduction ones, these are actual revisions. And these are very slim to the face, Lexan type material, very hard to scratch. And they come with a little carry bag so they don't get scratched up. We haven't really used this bag much and they're not scratched up at all. There's some minor scratching on there, but very good condition otherwise. The way that I attach to your face is just with this Velcro. All you do is un-Velcro that, Velcro it, and you're good to go. And obviously the sides are adjustable. Comes with a little carry bag, which has some lens cleaning solution in there, the manual. It has a little cleaning cloth. I'm not sure why you need a manual for eye protection, but we figured out how to use them without the manual. So we have all that stuff in there. We typically use this case a lot, so it keeps it very protected. And from there, we went from using those because <clears throat> I should tell you, one thing with using this is you don't get any fog with both of these setups over here, the full face and the full seal goggles. You would get fog, a lot of fog, and it would be basically impossible to play if you're breathing heavy. And with these, you don't get any fog because there's no breath coming up into the mask. However, you do get a lot of sweat. And the problem is because these things are full seal, there's nowhere for the sweat to go. It just stays inside the goggle. So from there, we went from these revision setups. Now we use this setup. It's still a revision goggle, but it's their Stinger Hawk sunglasses. So you can see it comes with a little neck band so you don't lose them. These things are not full seal, but they are so wide. You can see this lens is so wide that they might as well be full seal because there's no way that a BB is going to get around that to get to your face. And they're also very rubberized on the top. So if you do sustain a hit, it's impact rated. It's not like some of the Chinese reproductions out there that are questionable on whether or not it'll protect you. It also comes with a clear lens. We haven't been using the clear lens. Usually we play during the day. So we'll use the tinted lens. Looks cooler and it offers you a little bit of sun protection. And inside the bag, we have a little carry case. We haven't really been using that, but it's nice to know you have that option. And inside this carry case, it comes with a few lens cleaning cloths, and it has, it's actually separated in there, so you can put the lens in one and the goggles in the other, and they won't scratch each other. So, this setup right here is actually the current setup we'll use today. Typically, unless we're running indoor, we don't run with this mesh mask, although you could run it with it. It is compatible. Uh, the modified one, of course, not the normal one. The normal one probably wouldn't be compatible. But if you modify it like that, it is compatible. Like I said, all of these are helmet compatible. So you can run it right under your helmet as long as you have a helmet that's fairly flat and doesn't extend down very far. So as long as this angle right here is flat, all of those should run with a helmet. So this has been our eye protection video. So comment below which eye protection you use. We've used all of these through the years, starting with the full face and then gradually progressing on and on until we're at where we are today with the Stinger Hawk sunglasses. We have used other types of eye pro in between all of these. However, if we put all those in the video, the video would probably be three hours long. So we decided to pick the most prominent ones and this is currently the one we use so we would recommend the stinger hawk if you don't sweat that much these full seal revisions might be good for you uh, comment below what you guys like and we'll see you guys in the next video